Hello everybody, Emma Retro TV with the build 2.0. First video of the build. I have the build 1.0 out for a while, but it's I have never uh, done any video, so it's a good thing that we can start with the 2.0. That way I can start reviewing it or uh, and explaining how to be used it's pretty simple i try my best to keep it organized which is that's my goal of making builds uh as you guys can see i already making a few of this as I'm, i've been scrolling around that way you guys can see what's on the build the build itself is running on cody 6.1 I highly recommend running the, this build on 16.1. 6, sorry, uh, but it can also be used in different uh, media centers. Now, hopefully, this video doesn't crash. I tried to make a video earlier and it crashed. My computer, my PC, I don't know what happened, so I, I had to start all over again. So, keep your, your, your fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Now. Uh, you might be wondering and asking how this build, how can it can be used, right? Uh, well, once you start coding, uh, you will see it, it, could, it could start on any of this, uh, the menus. The menus, it's while we are scrolling in the, by the purple area down here. <clears throat> These are the menus. I refer those as menus. I refer the ones in the right below it on the bottom, sub menus. And on top, shortcuts. So when I say oh, you can go to the shortcuts on top, I'm talking about this shortcuts on top, which is more content, by the way, guys. Keep it simple for you. And if you press from the main menu, if you press up on your controller, you can choose any of those shortcuts on top. And if you keep pressing right, you're going to see more content until it's kind of like scroll over in the loop and you start from the beginning. If you press down, on the other hand, from the main menu, it will go under to the sub menu, and then you can select more of this content. Now, if you press enter or uh, uh, go on your controller, I don't know, whatever is on the button, in the middle button on your control, that's your select button. So, probably figure that by now. You go, in this case, we're gonna go to Asian. And you're going to notice that there's like a list of things and these things are called add-ons. So sometimes the, when I say add-on doesn't work, that doesn't mean that this whole list doesn't work. That means that a particular add-on doesn't work, but that I don't have no control over that. By the way, I don't have no control over any of those, any of these add-ons. I don't make them. So I use them because they created our kindly enough to share with for, uh, with us so we can use them um, so sometimes one atom will work sometimes doesn't work but I did my best to check all the atoms so if it, an atom doesn't work simply use a different atom like in this case it is, this one doesn't work you simply use this one it doesn't work and so on that's how Cody works but I did my best like I said to make sure if it works now we went over Asian menu and there's five atoms in here. So when I go back, the same five atoms that you saw on the Asian will be down here below. It just make it easier for you instead of going to Asian. So once you know what you like on Keys, uh, let's say you go to Asian, right? And then, oh, Keys Asian. So let's say you like this atom, <clears throat> you don't have to go there. You just go here and it kind of like go straight to the position that you want to go I mean to the add-on that you want to go and from here you just select whatever you please a lot of content guys then go back in your and your control and the same format will goes with any other ones in the main menu uh, whatever you see under let's say if you go TV by the way you know um, obviously when I say the same format, I mean uh, the way it's organized, but it's not the same content, but that's why I kind of like changed it. You know, if 
if you want to see kid stuff, you just go here. If you want to see Asian stuff, you go here. But what I mean the same format is that on the Asian, you see, like I said, there's five items in here. There's five, the same ones are on the here. It's the same thing as kids. Like if you go to kids, in kids, there's quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, probably like 10. But those, all those are down here on the bottom. Okay. Now, when you go to sub menu, when you press down, you're going to notice there's an arrow here and there's an arrow over here. That means that there's more content to the right or to the left. So you keep on pressing either right or, or left until it stops. But if you press right again, it will kind of like start. And that goes to all of them. Now, same, same way I added, uh, besides the Spanish, I will talk about Spanish later. Uh, TV shows, for instance, uh, this is this is section over here. This is favorites and search, and that on all the other content uh, menu has that. So if you want to look search, that kind of like if you want to look something quicker, just go down sub menu. The search function is called Metallic Cube. Just press on that. And then whatever you want to search, like if you want to search a TV show, movie, music, music, or whatever, you just go there. Uh, search over here. You can also use this other one, but I mostly use this one. Just keep it nice and short. I, I think I click on movies, right? And then I, this search. And then in here it's asking you, what do you want to search? So if I want to uh, type back to the future... Uh, press done it will it's working so it will look it up now guys I know that I type really fast at least because I'm making this video on YouTube uh, on YouTube on Windows so Windows says uh, Cody can be used on any other um, system, operating system I just I choose to um, use uh, uh, Cody on Windows so I can record this video for you guys so Keep that in mind. I know if you want to kind of like write faster, then you, you have to kind of like get, get like um, one of those Bluetooth uh, that has like a remote with a keyboard built in and kind of like it makes it easier for you. If not, then you just use your controller slowly and and type it with the le each letter. Anyway, once you press done, I type Talk to the Future and look at that. <clears throat> Everything about Back to the Future. If you see something like this, like you probably be thinking, this is not what I was looking for. But you don't have, you don't even have to look at that. You just look up for something that you kind of like was looking in the first place. So you just press back to the future. It, 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 you see, the search function is to make your life easy. You just search anything quicker. Now, um, I know, and then you choose like, okay. Let me use this link, and if it doesn't work, let me use this one. It doesn't work, but most of the time they work. So if you if it works this one, it might work with this one. The same content, but this with this add-on, this search function, it it, it help you tremendously to search whatever you're looking for. So you just click pop in this case, and then you know it asks you if you, what do you want to watch it? Like you want to watch an SD, uh, sing, uh, standard de uh, definition. Or high definition. If you know, I press, you know, depend your connection. If you have a good connection, you just press HD. Obviously, it will look much better in your TV. And then you wait. If sometimes this all depend on your connection and the servers um, from where we're gonna watch the movie. Sometimes it will open up really fast, but sometimes it's gonna take a while. When I say a while, that doesn't mean five, ten minutes. In the case of that, I believe the longest it might probably take is like a minute if the servers are either busy or lagging or whatever. So if that's the case, either gonna not gonna show anything, it's gonna kind of like kind of like go back to the main the list like this, or it's gonna say error, you know, and that means that you have to choose. A different link in this case we're waiting and nothing is showing up so 
sometimes if that doesn't work and this is one of the situations that it might happen so we have to either wait here and <clears throat> see what happens because I click on cancel nothing showing up or it's not even doing anything or I'm pressing back and nothing but apparently apparently it was gonna open but I kind of like cancel it so but anyway let me go back again so we can you see this is something this is how it had to be used oh come on so it's gonna ask you like again the same whatever you want to watch it so you go ahead and choose a different one and in this case I use iStream and iStream does everything for you again we have to wait there's a lot of links retrieved but let's see which one are good which one are not good okay so we choosing a 1080p one and this one seems to open up really fast anyways um, we go back back on your controller and then that's how the search button is is, is used now if you're gonna notice there's another button here that I want to talk about a little bit it's favorite and the favorite one there's something that I added already but on your favorite menu it should be completely empty something like that this and the reason that I removed the, the link the the, the favorite that I had there is because I wanted to uh, sh show you guys how to add and to remove stuff so in this case I just removed it but I will explain that how it's done anyway favorites it's on all pretty much all the menus besides probably programs system and Spanish it's not there because all those menus are pretty small so you don't, net, you don't have to really add anything in there however <clears throat> the, if the, the, the rest of the other menus are pretty big so in this case if I want to add something from cartoons go inside that add-on probably thinking huh I don't know I didn't want to check that new and hot and oh, look at this oh I like this one for instance right I'm just pretending I don't think I ever watched this but first episode and oh look at that you open up real quick so instead of like like let's say I would like this to be on my favorite menu over there on my favorite window so instead of just like selecting or choosing one episode you just go ahead and go back and choose the whole thing so you press the menu button or if you press the select button long like probably like two seconds you kind of like will go like boop and it will open up this menu and in this menu the only thing that you probably have to be concerned don't worry about none of that none of this just press add to favorite and this is your best friend because once you do this you click on that now this thing right here transformer it's gonna go when you go back it's gonna be on the sub menu the on the uh, favorites and you see it's there and if let's say um you click you you know you go there and then you you shows you all the episodes nice and the same the same way man like you can you can do the same thing on all the content in here including Spanish or whatever like I don't think 
or if you're into Spanish stuff, you can definitely do that. Um, but it can be done anything. Uh, if you go here, movies, box sets, box sets means uh, like collections of like a certain like movies, for instance. Uh, Back to the Future, you go here, we did a sample a little bit, and they chose you the three movies. Uh, there's a lot. We have to like if you go to Hannibal here, it show you all the Hannibal collection. So it takes some time to learn, but these are the basics. Uh, by the way, let's say I'm gonna do one more example. Let's say, right? You wanna add that to the favorite? Scroll down. You like? Oh, I like this like TV show, whatever. You just open on the menu and add to favorite. You see, add to favorite. Not get confused with the add on favorite because the one gonna show up. Make sure it's always add to favorite. If you do this one, it will go somewhere else, and then you probably be asking where is the favorite? Add to favorite. Always add to favorite. You do that. When you go back to the menu, it's there. It's there. Now you can add as you can you, you can build a huge list in here, man. Eventually, it might be like too long, and there's some stuff that you don't want to watch no more. You just the same way you did with the adding favorites. You just press the uh, menu button or whatever, or or the uh, the go button, press and hold, and it will. You see, you can even organize them too. Like if you want that one to be on the bottom, just go bottom. You can even rename it. Are you liking? This case, I'm talking about remove, so I'm just gonna remove and remove that too if you want to. So the same favorite uh, sub menu here it will be on all the ones favorites, you see. And the way, um, uh, this way you can pretty much like kind of like build your own personal list in here of this huge build. There's so much to watch, so much. All right, um, let me see what else. Ah, one more last thing. When you go here on the system, if if the build itself giving you some problems or whatnot, sometimes it's always good to come in here the system, click on clear cache. In this case, you see I have six files found. It's always good to always keep it at zero. So yes, yes, you want to make sure it's done. Okay, the same thing I added the other one here for package, and there's nothing here. So but I just click yes, whatever. On system, there's also like if you scroll to the right, this is asset, which you can asset this build. In the case that you're probably wondering, where, where can I close this? Asset? It's on system, on asset. That's to turn to close it. Also, um, on programs, on programs, there's on another advanced settings in here, which that you know you don't have to even mess with any of this, but in the case that you're wondering, like if you want to test your internet speed down here in the menu, sub menu, and you just poop, click on that, and it will let it let it run, so you can you can test your internet speed. You go back to the main menu. Let's see what else. Uh, shortcuts, main menu, sub menu. Sorry to kind of like talk. Uh, over I'm talking over you know thinking. And talking at the same time, it's because I don't have nothing script scripted. It's just kind of I'm going with the flow. Uh, so the date here. Let's see. That's pretty much it. Like if you want something. Oh, by the way, sometimes there's two shortcuts like this. You just press like let's. Okay, let me let me let me pretend that I have a controller, right? I'm and kids in the main menu. I press up. And I'm, I can scroll left or right to that uh, short, those shortcuts the same way. You keep scrolling to the right. There's a whole bunch more. But you're probably wondering if you, if you press down again, you, you, you're seeing that all the shortcut on top. Yeah, you have to just press from the main menu up for the uh, to go to the main uh, to the first shortcut list, and then you press up again, and it'll take you up there. Okay, same thing. You will be um, navigating left or right. And if you want to go back to the main menu, you press down, down to the main menu. And that's how it's done. It's used. It's pretty simple. It's new for whoever don't have never used this. But once that it 
you know, it takes some time to to learn where all this stuff, and eventually, just like anything and everything, once you know what is what, then you will, like, oh yeah, I know where is the stuff. Like you go here, you know. Uh, let's say, oh, I wanna I wanna watch, I don't know, UFC. Uh, you go to sports. Uh, you press down and press right. You keep scrolling to the right. And this one it says UFC. Sometimes, just because this this one doesn't say UFC doesn't mean that it has UFC. So through time you will learn that once you go here on Titan, because all this is about it's all about sports. All this is all about sports, but it can, it can be mixed. So some of them has one thing. I'm gonna go here. Something I'm let's have another thing. Sometimes it doesn't have another thing. So this is a multiple uh, sports add-on so if you go here on the on the titan then it has golf and it has like icons and icons what is this supposed to mean uh you go there and it's probably gonna have some like athletes as you guys can see so if you're into michael jordan like me is one of my pfft, I'm the best man. <laughs> you go here, Michael Jordan, and if you get an error like this, it's because, like I said earlier, some of the add-ons, some of the add-ons, some of the links, it might not work. In this game, Michael Jordan, that add-on says error, doesn't work, unfortunately. So we gotta get it from somewhere else or try a different link. If you're into Directorator. You try to click on the other theater and let's see if it works. And there you go. A full hour. Let me pause it so I can uh, say, explain this a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I just pause it. So you see down here in the bottom, it's the navig uh, the play the play uh, the play bar. You see how it's loading? That depends on your connection. You keep on loading more and more and more. Uh, the gray is like the buffer, kind of. It will keep on loading, even when you have it in stop. And this is your the, the one that is like really tiny over there. It's the where, where you're at right now. But you can always like, let's say, like on your controller, press like right or left, which is this one. And it's like fast forward or uh, rewind. You know, and say the same deal. Um, it will give you here some information about the len the len let the legibility. <laughs> oh, that was a hard word. Uh, yeah. Okay. So four seconds in the whole video is 58 minutes. The time that is right now and the time that is gonna finish 7:24. Uh, that is if you're gonna watch it the whole thing. On top of here, there's all the options. I definitely don't touch none of this. You really don't have to. Just understand that, you know, rewind, play. This is our options. I will kind of go over real quick. But this is like, a, you know, if you want to, you know, create bookmarks, you really don't have to. That's a little bit too much. Uh, the volume, the volume is good. I mean, you don't have to change none of these settings. So don't even go here, here. Uh, same thing with the video. Video settings is always gonna be good. However, if you're selecting like a crappy video, obviously it's gonna look crappy. There's nothing that you can do. So so all the set, this is like the default setting. So don't touch none of that. So don't touch none of these three. This, this one up here is their obvious like menu. And the same one that you can probably do it on your control anyways. So you can press right on top and whatever. And this one is the subtitles. And the subtitles really doesn't have anything. You see, the subtitles found. Yeah, I don't, I don't even mess with the subtitles. Sometimes the video itself has subtitles. So, you know, or even the audio have, uh, if it's, if it's English, it will, it will talk English, but in the, 
if it's in Spanish and if you get the video from the Spanish section, it will come up in Spanish. And the last one, but not least, the settings. Same deal. Don't touch it. That way we, you know, we can, well, not we, but you guys don't have any issues. <laughs> All right, if we keep leaving this in here, you know, this is a good thing, by the way, for those who have a bad connection, if you ever is like buffering something, all you have to do is just pause the video, let it roll, and it will stop the buffering. All right, uh, so let me go back, back. And yeah, it takes some time. You just gotta like navigate and explore until you guys have, you know, find something that you like. Well, this is it for me. Um, thank you so much for watching and being here this long. I know I, it might probably be too much, but that's why I wanted to make the video because you guys can always like rewind it, watch it again, listen to it on um, any questions again, you know, right, don't, don't be shy, ask me, write it on the bottom, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, that will help that will let me know that I'm doing a good job or a bad job. Thumbs down, really. I don't care. You just say something. Drop off some feedbacks. And until then.